Bullying has become a major problem for students in school throughout the country. The New England Anti-Bullying Conference held on Friday hopes to provide strategies to help prevent bullying. Let's get you now out to STN Channel 2 News reporter Ben Cohn, who is live at the event. Ben? Thanks, Ben. I'm standing live outside yep. Wild Auditorium, where the New England Anti-Bullying Conference was held earlier today to help provide strategies on when bullying occurs at schools. Yeah, um, strategies based on the latest research on things that can be done to um, you know, pro deal with bullying when it occurs in schools, but even more importantly, establishing um, the kind of environment in which bullying is not likely to occur. The conference has many activities planned throughout the day. There are several concurrent sessions, um, workshops that are going to be going on. Some of the key speakers that are presenting at the conference are Michael Falling, who is a stage performer and has a doctoral degree in clinical psychology, and Richard Cardillo, education director of the National School Climate Center and a school teacher. According to Lee Peters, Vice President of Student Affairs, while there have been some cases of bullying on campus, it is not a major problem at Hartford. We haven't had reports of that, where students will gang up on one student and call them names and criticize them. And make, we, haven't had, we haven't had reports of that this year, but we have had a couple of cases of student-on-student of student harassment. For students who experience bullying on campus, there are steps they can take to prevent it. They can start with their resident assistant or their resident director to report it. Um, they can also report it directly to public safety. For students who don't live on campus who experience bullying, they should report it directly to student affairs or to public safety. Right now, I'm joined by Christopher Irving, the CEO of the Cecil and Miller Institute. Now, Chris, what do you think was the highlight of today's conference? I think the highlight of today's conference was really having uh, more than 200 plus educators from three states. Um, and folks seem really engaged and really uh, into learning about how they can make kids feel a lot safer. Thank you. Now, along with the conference being held here earlier at Hartford, there are two other conference anti-bullying conferences taking place, one at DePaul University in Illinois and the other in Rucker, at Rutgers University in New Jersey. Ben Cohn, STN Channel 2 News.